Join me today for a dining room refresh. Before I start decorating, I thought I'd give a little overview of the space, especially if you're new here. It's a very dark and gloomy day here in Northern Virginia. Lots of rain outside. I probably should have the chandelier on for lighting purposes, but it tends to cause little dancing dots all over the screen. So we're gonna try it this way and see how it goes. A few years ago, I added these peel and stick wall murals. They're actually part of a very long wall mural, but I really wanted to focus on the area that had the tree. I just love the details. You can see the hill and the fence, the birds and the pasture down below. And the designer was kind enough to offer to print a mirror image. So see over there, the tree is on the right, and then over there, it's on the left. So it makes my symmetrical loving self very happy to have that balance and repetition. This buffet and mirror were a find in an antique shop down in South Carolina when we lived there many years ago. I love the size of the mirror, and while it was gold when we first purchased it, I eventually ended up painting it white and then just giving it a few little gold accents with rub and buff. And then from there, I wanted to show you this beautiful chandelier that we added a few years ago. I'm gonna add a link for it because you will not believe how reasonably priced this was. And it just sparkles so beautifully in the morning when the sunlight hits it and at night when we turn it on. The table was a gift from my sister. It was a beautiful mahogany stain, but of course I ended up painting it. And admittedly, it is in much need of a fresh coat of paint. So hopefully I'll get to that this spring. As for seating, I went ahead and added four of these Parsons chairs. Two of them were in our sunroom, but I decided to bring them in here just so that they are all the same around the table. I've had the sideboard here for quite a while. In fact, it used to have a hutch on top at our old house. We took the hutch off, sold that, and just kept the bottom part. And then I happened to find this print on Etsy, and I love that it is a continuation of the mural on the other side of the room, so it all kind of ties in together. Now that I've given you a little overview of this space, I'll go ahead and start decorating. And how about we begin over here on the shelves? couple of the items I will be using. They are my tried and true, very easy go-tos. I have white pitchers, very simple white bowls, but I love their detail and their size. They're more like pasta bowls. I also want to bring in a bit of glass to tie in with the chandelier and the lamps. I have these glass cloches on the shelves in the kitchen, so now I need to do something different there. And then of course, I want to bring in a little bit of greenery with these faux potted plants. Shelves are done, and what I like to do is tie in symmetry when I can, especially at an angle. So I've got my pitcher there, which means I have my pitcher here. I've got my white bowls up there, then my greenery here, but it has the white flowers and the white planter to tie those in together. And then in the middle, I've got my glass. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing over on these shelves, but I'll do them in reverse order so that it tricks my brain that I've got a little bit of asymmetry but really it's the same. Now let's do something on the sideboard. I love having really big arrangements right in the middle to balance with the mirror behind. However, I'm going to scale it down just a little bit, adding a smaller floral arrangement, but bringing in color. 
This is the arrangement I'm gonna be adding. I made this off camera, started with the pitcher. Then I added the eucalyptus, I just branched that out. Then placed my faux roses, one on the left, the center and the right. Then my faux white florals. And now I thought I was going to retire the tulips, but I ended up grabbing a few of these white faux ones that I had on hand. I feel like they're a pretty good filler towards the bottom of the arrangement. Now, before I have the arrangement, I'm just gonna place this dish towel very loosely here. I could add a runner, but I wanna do that on the table. I could add a tray. However, I want a little bit of fabric so I think the dish towel might do the trick. With my floral in place, I'm just gonna add a candle to each side so that it complements the arrangement without overpowering it. Adding in my favorite battery operated candles. And I also like how visually your eye goes from the lamp down to the candle, up to the arrangement, almost in a little bit of a soft zigzag pattern. Now let's do something fun on the table. I mentioned earlier, I wanna give it a new tablescape, but before I do that, one thing I forgot to mention earlier was our rug. This is such a great option, especially for your dining room or your kitchen because it's an indoor-outdoor rug. It reminds me of seagrass, which is my favorite, like a faux seagrass. And if you have pets, let me tell you, this is very easy cleanup if they have any accidents or if somebody spills food. First, I'm gonna place this table runner down. I found this at HomeGoods several years ago. Unfortunately, I have not seen it again, but if I ever do, I will be sure to let you know it's such a pretty runner, and I love the detail going down each side. Now to the middle, I'm gonna add this soup tureen. Now I could leave it like that, but I'm going to take off the top, and then I'm gonna bring in these two small faux ferns. This way I've got just a little pop of greenery in the middle of the table without competing too much with the floral arrangement that I have on the sideboard. And then to each side, I'm just going to place a candle holder and two more of my favorite battery operated candles. And now for my place settings. I'm gonna start with these white melamine chargers. I found these at Hobby Lobby. In case you don't have a Hobby Lobby nearby, I will link a similar charger down below. Add napkins. Now since I have the pink up on the sideboard, I thought I'd bring it down to the table with these really pretty blush napkins. Just gonna lay it right on top of the charger, but then I'm gonna fold it over at the top. at dinner plates. I know I said I packed away the bunnies, however, I kept out a few of these really pretty plates. But as you'll see in a few minutes, you're not really gonna see the bunny. I just wanted you to be able to see the trim of the plate. Next, I'm gonna layer the white salad plates right on top of the dinner plates. Bye-bye, bunny. Now, I know we have the blush napkin here, but let's just treat that as a soft little accent and focus on this. We have white, green, white, and now I'm gonna add one of these really pretty green bowls to each place setting. Now we can add flatware. I have had this set forever. I'm on the hunt for something new, but for now, I do like the two-tone look. And 
and then lastly, stemware. Last area we need to work on is this one. We have the shelf, the peg rack, and the top of the buffet. What do you say we decorate the shelf first and then work our way down? Now I do want it to tie in with the shelves that I decorated on the other side of the room, so I'll be bringing in similar elements, such as a white pitcher. But then I'm also gonna add this little gravy boat just to visually fill up the space a bit more. And then wine glasses. I opted for the shorter glasses, so visually it doesn't cover the print. And then a matching faux plant like I added on the other shelves. Dish towels to the pegs. And a couple of pitchers. And then to the buffet, I'm gonna place this faux floral arrangement that I put together. This matches the one that I did for the sideboard. So it's bringing in the same elements, but it's also bringing in a bit of pink to this side of the room. And then also like I did on the sideboard, I'm gonna add another dish towel right in the middle. And then place this cake stand and cloche. I have some faux treats that I need to go find so I can put them in there. And then I wanna place these two candles here. However, I want one a little bit taller than the other. So that's where this book will come in handy. Again, using my favorite battery operated candles. The sun is back, so let's have a look around. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time.